the reality is why would we want to wait to fix 911? That makes no sense. Jackson County legislators approving funding aimed at cutting down on 911 wait times, but not without a whole lot of drama in the process. And part of that money will go to fund automated attendance for 911 calls. Good evening to you. I'm Christelle Bell. And I'm John Holt. Kansas City's police chief says the funding is needed because of what she calls critical shortages of 911 dispatchers. Fox Force Dave DeMarco live at the county courthouse tonight with details on the program, plus how we got here. Dave, this is something legislators thought they approved last week, right? They did, but it turns out they were actually a vote short and unleash controversy today on exactly what to do now. Walking around Kansas City's Loose Park, you'll find no shortage of people who've had similar experiences calling 911 in Kansas City. It was open, it was bleeding everywhere, and then I called 911, it said, please hold. I'm like, whoa, 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 I can't hold, it's bleeding, it's blood coming everywhere. Yeah, I've called 911 before and it's like, please hold, we'll get back to you in a second, or sometimes it's busy and you have to call again. Last year, we heard similar stories from the mayor about his own mother and a man beaten outside Arrowhead Stadium. At that point, average 911 wait times to speak to a dispatcher had reached 46 seconds. In a letter, KCPD's police chief says because of critically low staffing levels, the department was requesting approximately $67,000 for auto attendant software, allowing callers to choose between police or ambulance and fire. Could also help with addressing accidental 911 calls. And I feel like a lot of people that call right away don't necessarily know where they should be calling to and that would make me like that's why I'm pretty uneasy when I hear like oh press one for police or two for fire. Five legislators approved the funding last week including an additional $347,000 for computer aided dispatch workstations but they learned today they actually needed a super majority of six. County Council recommended the item go back to committee for a public hearing. This is not trying to slow anything down this is actually because of whatever gyrations happened last week when we swept it through without a hearing. This is just trying to correct that as quickly as possible. We have the police department here that we're not bringing up. I mean, it's just all so confusing. In the end, a super majority of legislators were able to get the funding approved without delay for real this time. So now that this auto attendant software is coming, how do people feel about it? Coming up at 10, John, you hear from some of those very same people who said they'd been on hold with 911, and we get their reactions. Dave DeMarco, live at the county courthouse tonight. Dave, thanks.